Good morning, folks. This is Donald Sewani running for governor of Florida, trying to clean out the corruption within our system. Today, I want to talk about Bland Teagle. Bland Teagle is one of the few, one of the only males other than like the sheriff in my federal lawsuit where I'm suing the governor, state court judges, DCF officers, and everybody else. He's like, one of the only males other than the sheriff, because they're all females, corrupt man-hating females, mostly lesbians and stuff, okay, that failed and can't get a man. Anyways, Bland Teagle, the executive director of the JQC, is one of the people I'm suing. This guy was a judge and an administrator of, of judges for like 30 years. He's at the top, you know. He is the executive director of the JQC. For those of you that don't know what the JQC is, the JQC is the Judicial Qualifications Commission of Florida, which mandates and regulates judges. They're the ones you file complaints with about judges. According to the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, which I still don't believe, and the detective that's working on my criminal complaint, he cannot prosecute any crimes against judges, which simply I don't believe because if they drive down the street and get pulled over drunk driving, they're going to be arrested, right? So why can't the Osceola County Sheriff's Office prosecute a judge for working outside of their judicial capacity, not what their job description is, which is exactly what corrupt Judge Holly Darenthal is doing, participating in a felony conspiracy, assisting in felony perjury, uh, a third degree felony of, of official misconduct and on and on and on. There's like 20 things she's doing. Um, why can't the sheriff's office do anything about it? They're throwing uh, the JQC under the bus going, oh, they're the ones that have these special police that have to do it. So let's talk about Bland Teagle because I've left this jerk countless messages, voicemails with his secretary, emails completely ignored just like Marco Lopez until I confronted him at a gas station face-to-face -face when he was doing a meet and greet. I still haven't posted that video yet. I have to go find it. I'm going to post it. And then that video, my video mysteriously got cut. Uh, uh, but they had their mobile command center there. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, um, Bland Teagle, I'm going to start calling for his arrest and his indictment. But who arrests and indict him? Because he's a judge, right? If he's the executive director of the JQC in the top of it and the police can't do it, so who can do it? Because if he literally is still refusing to indict and investigate Holly and Darenthal for her criminal felony crimes, then he is also committing felony crimes. Third degree felony oath of violation of oath of office, third degree felony conspiracy and on and on and on and on and on. So we need to put out in the spotlight Bland Teagle for participating in this uh, in this felony conspiracy and being a part of all this and committing all these felonies if he's still refusing to throw do a official investigation on all the crimes that Holly and Darenthal has committed and continues to commit covering child abuse and keep it putting and keeping my kids being abused sexually and physically in an abusive situation okay this guy, Bland Teagle, judges regulate judges, police regulate police, on and on and on. Obviously, he's covering fellow judge Holly Darenthal's butt, refusing to do an investigation. And just to go a little bit deeper, before it was corrupt black supremacist judge Christy C. Collins, he closed the case on her. Two JQ complaints swept under the rug. Closed the case on her, but she recused herself and ran away when I exposed her ass and what she was doing. I've had two male judges, no problems, no complaints. I got no complaints. I didn't agree with those judges, but they didn't do the things that these judges are doing. They didn't break the law. They didn't commit misconduct. They didn't collude with the other side. They didn't commit ex parte, speaking to the other side behind my back, planning all the orders and what was going to happen in the courtroom before it even happens. That's Holly and Darenthal has done, and Christy C. Collins has done. The Those two judges are personal friends with the corrupt uh, females on my wife's side, including corrupt Jennifer Jane Watson and Sarah Vance and DCF officers and all this. They're all in bed together. They're all friends together. They all play golf together probably, okay? Bland Teagle needs to be put in the spotlight. I'm going to be making a lot more videos about him. I'm also beginning calling, recording, and making more voicemail uh, um leaving him messages with his secretary, letting her know she's being recorded that I'll post and, and prove to you guys what this guy does. He run blocks and hide and he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do his job. He gets complaints and he sweeps her under the rug, case closed. 
Okay, this is not what the JQC is supposed to be for. Matter of fact, if you look in their Google reviews, you can read other people complaining about it. They're supposed to investigate judges.